next thing to fueling your forklift is safety. Be sure to always wear your seatbelt. When you pull up to refuel, stop the engine and set the handbrake. It's a good idea to have your gloves and eye protection with you so you're ready to go. Now, your eyes will only be a few inches from the service valve connection. This connection is pressurized and it's possible for a quick burst of liquid propane to escape when disconnecting. Wear your eye protection at all times. Next, close the service valve on your forklift tank, then disconnect the fuel line. Do it quickly because some fuel may escape from the hose. Now, go ahead and remove the tank from the forklift. We recommend that you never refill the tank while it's still on the forklift because propane vapor seeps into the engine compartment and electronics and could ignite an explosion. Proper lifting is important. Notice how the driver is holding the tank as close to his body as possible, his back is straight, and he's not twisting off to the side. When you pick up the tank, just take a step back and bend your knees to place the tank on the ground. Next, you'll need to visually inspect your tank. Do not fill it if it has a leak, broken valve, excess rust, damage to the foot ring or valve guard, and you see any dents or gouges. Look at the certification to see if it's expired. Check your area for any source of flame or spark. Now you're ready to fuel. Now that's the service valve. Connect the fuel transfer nozzle there. Be sure the connection is snug but not over tightened. And do not open the service valve just yet. The use of a motorized pump or larger filler valve will be covered in the next video. The first valve to be opened is the 20% outage gauge on the forklift tank you're filling. Now go ahead and open the service valve and it's a common mistake to open the service valve first. By opening the 20% gauge first, you're sure to maintain the proper pressure and fuel level of your tank and ensure proper filling. Open the valve on your filler tank to begin fueling. You'll notice right away a hissing sound coming from the 20% gauge. That's the excess propane vapor allowed to escape during the filling process. Continue filling until liquid appears in spurts from the 20% gauge. Close your service valve to stop filling. Then close the 20% gauge. Then shut off your filler tank valve. And if the transfer hose has a bleeder valve, open it now to bleed off the trapped liquid. Disconnect the transfer nozzle. Double check your valves to make sure they're secure and there are no leaks. Now you're ready to place the refueled propane tank onto the forklift. Remember, save your back. The tank will weigh around 60 pounds. Notice the proper lifting technique. Bend your knees, lift with your legs, hold the tank against your body, lift straight and don't twist. Secure the tank to the forklift. Reconnect the fuel line to the service valve and open the service valve when your fuel connection is snug tight. And now you're ready to get back to work.